Yo guys, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Mega Man Star Force. And, well, boy, right now it is 10.30 at night. I have to work in the morning, so, you know, I kind of picked a weird time to start recording. But, hey, I, I didn't make use of any of my free time today, so let's do it now. I'm glad we can be brothers. My Link abilities are First Barrier and Undershirt. First Barrier is an ability that surrounds you in a barrier at the start of a battle. As for Undershirt, as long as you have at least two hit points, a hit that would normally take you down to zero will only take you down to one HP instead. <clears throat> Yay. I guess I should get going. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay from now on. Because we're connected. Now I have something to remind me. I'm not all alone in this big world. <coughs> I can stop worrying about that starting today. I have to work hard to find the new me. I'm sure you can find the new you too, Geo. Let's both work hard at it. Uh, okay. Uh, I, and remember, you can't tell anyone about my secret. The one about the alien living in your transer? Well, no one would believe me even if I did. Whoa! Oh, that's right. Whoa! What's with these Z-waves? <clears throat> yeah. Got me a sody pep to keep myself awake, and now it's, well... Obnoxious. Somehow, I think that guy would. Man, this is bad. There's no way to escape. Lyra, let's go. <coughs> Hiya. Uh. Okay, I'm really going this time. I'll contact you later, okay? And thank you. For everything. Uh... We'll meet again, Mega. It's almost like we're going steady. Almost. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I shouldn't have grabbed myself a drink. Huh? Can a brother band really do that? Don't ask me! You just had to go and become brothers, huh? A brother band? I guess with this, I became a little stronger. Right, Dad? Ah! <clears throat> What's going on? My pendant is... What's this supposed to mean? It's gone. What was that all about? Could it be a message from Dad? Hey! Well, the old guy's still out cold! Let's get, let's get while the gut, let's get while the getting's good and go home. I bet your mom would know about your pendant. That's true. I should ask her. She might know. That's enough excitement for one day. I'd better go home for now. <clears throat> Sorry about all the coughing and clearing my throat. This is really bugging me now. It feels like crap stuck around. <coughs> hey, where am I? Hey, Geo! Mega! Where are we? There isn't anything around. When and how did we end up here? I don't know. You are in our subconscious. I'm just gonna do the same voice for these guys. I was about to say, don't tell me I fucked up and only one of them's gonna pop up. Ha! What the? Geo. How do you know my name? As for the one in your arm, it's the FMian Omega Exus, correct? 
They even know my name. Who are these guys? We are they who watch over you. And they who will continue to watch. What are you talking about? Geo! I sense a strange aura around them. I don't think that's good news for us. Mm. Then are they enemies? Ephemians? Ooh, oops. We have come only to warn. Right now, your existence is very small. However, it will determine the ultimate fate of this planet, Earth. What does that mean? <sighs> A dream? What a weird dream. Didn't I have one like that before? Huh? <clears throat> Dependence glowing. What does this mean? It stopped. <clears throat> hey Mega, did you have the same dream? Yeah, there were three strange shadows, and they kept grumbling about something. I didn't understand any of it. Well, you weren't the only one. Speaking of things we don't get, when I woke up, my pendant was glowing. Did it have something to do with the dream? Well, it also lit up when you made that brother band. I wonder what this really is. I don't think it's a plain old pendant anymore. <gasps> Excuse me. Maybe it's got some special function. Huh. You seem to care a lot about it. Well, it's a memento of my dad. Well, let's go ask your mom about it. Okay. <clears throat> dad. I really shouldn't have grabbed that soda. I just wanted to keep myself awake for a while. Let's see. What mail do we have? Good luck. Thank you so much for all you did for me. I feel like I've become just a little bit stronger since becoming brothers with you. <laughs> Yay! Card shop's open! Although I don't think I'm gonna make much, much use of it. <clears throat> huh, Mom's not around. Did she go out? Ten minutes later... I'm home! You're back! <coughs> Lucy, you got some splaining to do. I'm just gonna read her. Oh, Geo. Welcome back, Mom. Where'd you go? Well, actually... You went to my school? I met with your homeroom teacher. I got a message from him asking how you were. It sounds like he's a new teacher. It was the first time I spoke with him. He seems like a really nice person. <clears throat> he was wondering how you were. I'm sure you would like him. So want to give it a try? Going to school, I mean. I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, I wanted to ask you. I got this pendant from Dad, but is it some sort of special device? You know, I have no idea. I know your dad found it when he was young, but I don't know anything else beyond that. <clears throat> so you don't know either, huh? I know. Why don't you show it to Mr. Boreal? He knew your dad the longest. He might know. Mr. Boreal, huh? Let's go ask the other guy. Another way, Mom. I was about to say, don't you even show up, Prez. I don't want to deal with your crap right now. Let's go to the big wave. Look at this hippie. Hippie! Oh, where's my... Oh, okay, in the bottom left. Stun Knuckle. Uh, actually, I probably will use that. Ooh. Oh, my. God damn, that does a lot of damage. But then again, the bombs aren't really that useful. Well, they're useful against the game bosses. Just 
just time it right in. Well, not that hard to get it right. HP memory, 8,000. Okay, let's just go. Do, 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 do. The bus is so slow. Uh. That voice. <coughs> yep, damn it. I knew it. I knew it too. I just knew when I saw when it was his reaction. So where are you going? And what's with that sour look on your face? <laughs> That's the face he always makes when you guys are around. Uh, what is it today? When are you ever going to feel like coming to school? How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not going to school. Now stop pestering me about it. Sorry, but I can't just let the matter drop. I have to get you to come to school. <clears throat> God. We'll be having a school event soon, and our class is going to put on a play. And of course, the Prez is our producer. She's also our director, scriptwriter, and lead actress. She's covering it all. And, as director, I'm in charge of casting. And I was thinking about casting you. For our class play, of course. What? Don't randomly cast me without asking first. Everyone has to do something for this event, or else it loses its meaning. You're a member of our class, so it's only natural you participate as well. Well, that's fine for you, but what about me? It's not fine if you don't show. Your role is very important. Very important! If you don't play your very important role, then the whole play will fall apart. But... <clears throat> but I can't do that. I can't act in a play. It's like dealing with a stubborn mule. Then how about this? The set for the play is in the school gym. I propose you at least take a look at it. That's a great idea. If you see the set, you'll understand how great this play will be. I'm sure you'll want to be part of it then. So come on, let's go take a look inside. But I told you, I don't want to go to school. All you're doing is seeing the set. You're not going to class or anything. Plus, it's after school. There won't be any other kids around. You can't say no now, can you? But there's somewhere I have to go to today. <clears throat> Even I have a limit on my patience. You are so stubborn. You're the stubborn one. You're the one always following me around, you... You satellite! What do you mean by satellite? A satellite is a heavenly body that goes around in a round circling a planet. Your name Luna means moon. And the moon is the Earth's satellite. That's why it's the perfect name for you. Wh what? Who wants to be a satellite to you? P Prez, please calm down. Please don't ruin all your hard work here. Huh? You're right, Zack. I refuse to let you get away today, you hear? Even if I have to tie a Prez flag around your neck, I'm claiming you for today. Whatever you have to do can wait. Oh my god. Why does she have to talk so much today? When she gets like this, she's unstoppable. i do what she says if I were you. If I keep talking with them, I'll never get to Mr. Boreal's lab. I guess I don't have a choice. So... You promise all I have to do is look at it? Y yes that's it. If that's all, then I'll take a quick peek. You guys both heard him, right? I finally got Gio to go to school! Yay! This is all my doing. It's all thanks to my concern for the well-being of my classmates. You're the best, Prez. 
wonderful job! Good work, Prez. Thanks to you, I can finally see what the inside of a school looks like. Why are you so happy? Well, it's only natural I was successful. Because I'm the Prez, after all. Oh my god. It's making me kind of lightheaded here. Yeah, whatever. I'm only going to take a look. And then I'm leaving. Well, just come take a look at the set. I'm sure you'll want to do the play after that. The set is in the school gym. Well, let's go. Oh my god, there was so much talking between different people. Or primarily her. <clears throat> so, how does it feel to be back after three years? How does it feel? Well, I think the building itself changed a bit. They remodeled it recently. It was the principal's idea, I think. Um, I'm trying to remember. Is this suit? Yep, it is. <clears throat> really, what are you all doing here so late? Hi, Mr. Shepper. School let out a long time ago. You kids should be home already. We know, but today's special. Please, Mr. Shepard, just as once. Special? What do you mean? Huh? Well, well, what do we have here? This kid is... <clears throat> You're... He's Geo, Mr. Shepard. Oh, I thought it might be you, Geo. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Excuse me. I was just talking with your mom. Yeah, I heard from my mom. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Mitch Shepard. I'm your homeroom teacher. Mr. Shepard, I'm happy to say it seems Gio is finally going to come to school. And it's all thanks to my powers of persuasion. <clears throat> hey, hold on! You promised I only had to look at the set. Ah, uh, that's bullying, you know. Luna, you forced him to come, didn't you? That's because I... I was doing it for Gio's sake. Liar. Liar? Pants, uh, skirt on fire. School is important, but you can't bully someone into going. Huh? But you're a teacher. You should... You know, life is full of important things. Lots more than just what you learn in school. That's what I've always believed. <clears throat> I think he's got something really important to him right now that he has to do. Right, Gio? Something more important than school. That's why I'm gonna wait until he's really ready to come to school. Well, Mr. Shepard, you're really cool. <laughs> Maybe I said too much. Oh, I have to get going. I promised my kids I'd be home early and hang out with them today. Your kids? You have six, right? Nah, seven. And you're surrounded by kids at work. That's too many kids around you all the time. Nonsense. My kids are priceless treasures. Even when they give me trouble, it's really no trouble at all. That's how I feel anyway. And of course, the same with all of you. Well, see you around, kids. Make sure you all get your yourselves home soon too, alright? And Geo, if you ever want to talk, you know where I am. See you around. <clears throat> Mr. Shepard may feel that way, but I still think it's better for you to come. It's not good for your classmates if everyone is here. Oh, if every one of us isn't there. Plus, if you don't come, we can't do the play. Anyway, go take a look at the set for now. Oh my goodness. But for right now, we're gonna end this episode off. Let's see, uh, I'm trying to remember where the gym is. Not that way. Is it this way? 
Yes, it was. Okay, so we're going to end this episode off for now. Yeah, not a lot happened aside from a lot of dialogue. Oh, uh, made me kind of lightheaded going between all of Luna's talking. My goodness. Especially because it's trying to clear my throat constantly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Mega Man Star Force. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Not much rambling. I'm just kind of... Oh, no, I'm rambling. Anyways, I'll shut up and I'll see you guys later.